Sample Tank 3 has 24 different filters that let you color your sound in specific ways. You'll find these filters on the edit page. When choosing a filter, consider three attributes. The type of the filter, such as VCF, M ladder, formant, or phaser. The mode of the filter, such as low pass, high pass, band pass, or notch. And the slope of the filter, such as a steep 24 or 18 dB per octave, a more moderate 12 dB per octave, or a gentle 6 dB per octave. First, choose the type of filter you want. Each filter type has its own unique character, just like the plug-in effects in Sample Tank 3 have their own character. Next, choose the mode of the filter. What do you want to filter out? To filter out high frequencies, use the low-pass mode. The name might sound backwards, but a low-pass filter actually lets lows pass and filters out the highs. If you want to filter out the lows instead, then use the high-pass mode. This filter lets highs pass and filters out the lows. What if you want to filter out both highs and lows at the same time? Use the bandpass mode in this case, which will only let a selected band of the frequency spectrum pass through. Finally, choose the slope of the filter. If you want to gently roll off part of the frequency spectrum, use the 6 dB slope. This rolls off at a gentle slope of just 6 dB per octave for more subtle tone control style filtering. 12 dB per octave is a good all-around filter slope and a good starting point if you're unsure of which slope to use. The classic early Oberheim synths like the 4-voice, OBX, and OBXA use their 12 dB per octave filters to great effect to create the signature sound of those instruments. The 18 dB and 24 dB per octave slopes are more drastic and can create fantastic sweeps and effects. The classic transistor ladder filter designed by inventor Robert Moog in the 1960s was a 24 dB per octave design that is perhaps the most famous filter of them all. For classic basses, leads, and sweeping pads, the 24 dB filter is a great and appropriate choice. Now let's listen to all these filters. For our listening session, I've created a new sample that combines an unfiltered four-octave sawtooth wave along with a drum loop from the Sample Tank 3 factory library and then imported this as a new instrument so we can work with it here on the edit page. I have the spectrum analyzer from T-Rex at the right so you can see what's happening to the frequency spectrum as the filters sweep. Here's the unfiltered sound on its own. Now let's add a filter. We'll start with the VCF filter type. This is the classic sample tank filter. Here is the low pass mode set to a slope of 12 dB per octave. High frequencies are attenuated as low frequencies are allowed to pass. We can turn up the resonance control to emphasize the frequency where the filter is cutting off. When set to high ranges, the resonance peak will create a whistling sound. Often turning up the resonance will really bring out the character of each filter, so give it a try. Now let's hear it with a 24 dB per octave slope. And with the more gentle 6 dB per octave slope. Note that because of the actual circuit designs, not all filter types have every slope available. Here's the high pass filter with a 12 dB per octave slope. And again with a 24 dB per octave slope. Next, let's hear the bandpass mode. Here it is at 24 dB per octave. Nice. 
and again at 12 dB per octave. Now let's go to the M ladder filter type. This is a more vintage sounding filter that adds an overdrive control. Here it is at 24 dB per octave in low pass mode. Add a little overdrive for some classic analog grit. Here it is at 18 dB per octave. Now at 12 dB per octave. And at 6 dB per octave. Now let's put the M ladder filter in high pass mode. This filter has a single fixed slope. Here's the M ladder filter in band pass mode with an 18 dB per octave slope. Now with a 12 dB per octave slope. Now let's try the ladder peak filter. This is a single peak that works best with high resonance settings. The ladder notch filter is the inverse of the ladder peak. Here we're cutting at the specific frequency rather than boosting. The formant filter adds a vocal quality to the signal. Move the frequency around to carry on a tonal conversation. Finally, the phaser filter is the same effect you hear in classic stomp boxes and also hear in sample tank as an insert effect, but with programmable control via the envelopes, LFOs, mod wheel, or anything else in the synth section that you want to use to modulate it. Phaser uses what's called an all-pass filter, so no frequencies are actually attenuated. Instead, it changes the phase relationship between the frequencies. You can select the number of stages here where the slope settings usually are. And then instead of resonance, here you have a feedback control which similarly emphasizes the effect.